good morning my dear students let's see one more example on uh, a two hinged uh, parabolic arch with numerical values uh, the today's session uh, we will see the solution uh, of this problem which is appeared in uh, november 2015 uh, jntuk uh, sem examinations okay right uh, the question is uh, a two hinged parabolic arch has a span of 10 meters rise 2.5 meters and it is loaded with udl 2 kilonewton per meter over half of the span from left support okay right next uh, now what needs to be determined uh, what needs to be solved from this example end reactions and uh, extremum bending moment value uh, which means extremum bending moment values means maximum positive and maximum negative that that, that means uh, extremum bending moments means maximum positive and uh, maximum negative uh, bending moments maximum positive and maximum negative okay so these are the uh, questions that we need to uh, uh, answer right determine end reactions in the sense now uh, va vb and uh, h ha is equal to hb is equal to h uh, hence uh, the end reactions uh, become three only and the extremum bending moment values are two which are maximum positive and maximum negative value right? means uh, uh, maximum sagging uh, bending moment value and maximum hogging bending moment value but this is a question uh, which is uh, very simple to solve because you have uh, half of the span covered with the UDL uh, hence uh, if you have uh, point loads uh, your solution is going to be a bit lengthy uh, as you need uh, many uh, moment equations to write hence uh, uh, here uh, it is little bit uh, no, uh, simple as the half of the span is covered with the uh, same uh, load which is uniformly distributed load right so let's uh, proceed for finding support reactions first so uh, we start with finding va vb first so that i have uh, uh, not mentioned here but uh, it they need to be solved uh, with uh, with an intention that uh, you are well versed with solving them uh, i have not uh, no, included in this uh, presentation okay so solving for va and vb is left to you because uh, you have done it many of times right so that's why uh, it, it is left to you so two point uh, 2 kilonewton per meter load is acting on 5 meter span so total is 10 meters so half of this span comes to 5 meters okay so uh, to find VA I'll just use the short way of calculating the value so the total UDL value uh, total load from UDL 2 into 5 which is 10 kilonewtons is the total load from UDL that will act at center of the span with nothing but loading span so that is nothing but half of 5 meters which is what is the value 2.5 meters half of 5 meters okay right so now to get VA value we are going to use a straightforward formula that is available P 
b by l and uh, for vb it is p a by l so uh, i'm going to write them here it's a point load uh, if, if you convert udl into point load and uh, the support reactions will come to p b by l so what is p here is total udl value right 10 into what is b b means opposite span so you are finding va value you are finding reaction at a so opposite span means from load to the opposite support from load to the opposite support is b so total is 10 minus 2.5 it's nothing but 7.5 so divided by L is a total span, this is 10. So 10 goes off, so what is remaining is VA value, 7.5 uh, kilonewton. Okay, so this is how we are able to solve VA value. Similarly VB, otherwise you can use uh, no, uh, sigma FY equal to 0. So Vb is total load is 10 minus Va is Vb. Okay. So it is very simple to answer 2.5 kilonewton. Okay. Because total Va plus Vb should become 10 kilonewton total load uh, acting on the arch. So this how uh, simple it is to uh, solve for vertical reactions so VA VB okay got it so you can do it by uh, your regular uh, way of uh, doing it by uh, equilibrium equations sigma FY0 sigma M0 okay taking full free body diagram of the arch that is okay and if you uh, want to get VA and VB in a short way, um, this is the way that you can uh, solve them, okay. So VA value is 7.5, more load towards support A, hence you have more reaction, simple uh, reason for that, why uh, VA is more than VB, because most of the load, the, the, the most of the load is towards uh, uh, A and towards B less uh, load share that's why you have less reaction towards B okay so now coming to evaluation of H so you got VA value you got VB value then what is H value to, to find H value you need one more equation because you have used sigma fy0 sigma m0 for solving these two and sigma fx0 is already used for proving that ha is equal to hb is equal to h hence you need one more equation that is not available here uh, unlike your uh, three hinged arch where it's, uh, mc is equal to zero here it is uh, there is no such uh, equation hence we have derived the fourth equation as h is equal to integral m dash y dx by integral y square dx this is the fourth equation which will give you directly h value so let us write uh, whatever we want in this equation which is m dash and y these two are required now m dash you have to write it from a to b uh, as the uh, load pattern is changing from A to C and C to B, load pattern is changing. So A, C portion is loaded and B, C portion, <coughs> there is no load at all. So hence you need two moment equations between A, C, one moment equation and between B, C, one more moment equation. So let us see uh, what are they. So take a section between AC, so which is uh, valid from 0 to 5. 
okay a portion ac means what x is 0 and x is equal to 5 okay so this is the x distance right so what do you write for mx uh, for portion ac okay so it is uh, there is a uh, vertical reaction at a so va okay and uh, uh, you have uh, part of udl only in this x uh, region right okay so that i will uh, write it here uh, m dash for portion ac let us write it like this you may use any notation that you are comfortable with so sum of all moments to the left of section so there are only two loads one is vertical reaction the other one is udl okay part of uh, this udl right so vertical reaction is 7.5 so moment from 7.5 is 7.5 into x okay distance is x remember you are taking moments at this section so force into the distance between uh, the section and the load section and the load okay right now this udl uh, total will act at center of x and uh, that is negative because it is going to cause anti-clockwise so left anti-clockwise negative left clockwise positive so minus w means what how much 2 is w value udl 2 times x is the loading span so this is total load 2 times x is the total load from section till a total load is 2 into x okay but into distance where it will act at a distance of x by 2 so this 2 goes off now m dash equation whatever is written here between portion ac is what 7.5 x minus x square okay that is this uh, how it has come right then what is this one is y okay how it is written 4 h x into 4 h x into l minus x by l square that is what is y into dx so m dash y dx for portion ac means 0 to 5 is written plus portion bc also to be written here so in case of portion bc you take a section anywhere between b and c so that is at a distance of x from b okay so what do you have here only one reaction that is 2.5 kilonewtons so sum of all moments to the right of section what loads you have to the right of section there is only one load which is 2.5 okay right so now writing mx sum of all moments to the right what do you have to the right there is only vb so vb into x and uh, direction right anti clockwise is positive so 2.5 times x is mx okay no other load at all so to the left now if you are taking a section you have udl also that's why you got this x square term in the first m dash equation now to the right if you take there is nothing there okay only one uh, reaction that is vb so, uh, you may have a doubt why we are not taking uh, h uh, into consideration uh, don't don't forget 
m dash means what it is a beam moment beam moment means what you have to take a beam of same span same load and write all these mx equations okay so that's why you don't have h in this the, the procedure itself is to find h value okay remember so m dash is beam moment so h will not come into picture got it so now again uh, y is included here to dx so once you solve these two add them that is what you are going to get as a numerical value uh, right uh, numerator uh, 166.665 is your numerator value in the h formula right so denominator is as usual integral y square dx and it is valid from 0 to l is parabola so you may integrate this from 0 to 10 so integral 0 to 10 because equation for y that 4 hx into l minus x by l square is valid from 0 to l so 0 to 10 and uh, 4 times h is 2.5 and x l is 10 minus x all this you can substitute and integrate and you get a value denominator this one or otherwise you have already derived this value you have a value with you which is 8 by 15 8 by 15 uh, l uh, h l square or l square h whatever it is okay so that you have uh, with you already so if even if you work out in that sense so you have got the same value 33.33 so 8 by 15 into h is 2.5 the rise value span is 10 so uh, that uh, this this comes to 33.333 okay so this is how let me check uh, with the value so it is uh, 8 divided by 15 into 2.5 into 100 okay right so I should check it once so 8 by 15 into L is 10 into h square into 2.5 okay so let's check the formula once Let's go back to the formula where it is available. Yes, yes. Yeah. 8 by 15 L H square. Okay. So let me see that uh, whether we get this value or not. Okay. So 8 by 15 L H square. 8 divided by 15 into L is 10 into 2.5 square got it 33.333 okay so that way you can also check so the formula for denominator is 8 by 15 l h square okay so this way you can get the denominator value uh, but you have to see the length of the solution uh, how many marks uh, are being allotted to this 
so that uh, whether to omit this uh, expansion working for integration or not uh, you have to be careful okay if it is for a full 15 marks question uh, then uh, there is no uh, other go you shall you know uh, do this uh, expansion and uh, uh, derivation process okay so otherwise uh, if it is of say uh, 8 marks or 7 marks or so you don't need to worry about uh, the expansion and you know, finding the value by what we say first principles okay so uh, you can use straight away this formula okay so likewise your denominator value is 33.333 right now uh, your h value uh, numerator divided by denominator will will be giving you uh, h is equal to 5 kilo newtons <coughs> okay right now let us see the other half of the question so we have got va value which is 7.5 We have got VB value 2.5. Okay. And you have got H value, which is 5 on both uh, hinges. Okay. Right. Now, extremum maximum bending moments, right? Like extremum bending moments in the sense maximum positive, maximum negative. So if you just roughly draw the bending nature of this arch roughly just I am just producing a rough diagram so this is how I expect this arch to bend so which means sagging to uh, between A and C and hugging between B and C this is my uh, guess okay according to load I have <clears throat> so portion AC is going to be uh, you know, pressed down and uh, as uh, there is no load on BC the portion of BC arch is going to move outward whereas uh, portion AC is going to move inward this is my guess so where do you expect maximum positive bending moment between AC where do you expect maximum negative bending moment between PC? This is what you have to search. So this is how you have to guess and proceed. So what you are writing now? You are writing an MX equation uh, for searching for maximum bending moment uh, in portion AC. This is for portion BC right now your mx means this is not m dash remember there is a lot of difference between m dash and mx that you write in all these problems okay m dash is a beam moment uh, which is having similar span similar load as that of arch whereas mx is including horizontal reaction here excluding horizontal reaction m dash means excluding horizontal reaction mx means including horizontal reaction that you should remember so that is why this term came in 5 into y h into y okay so mx you need to take a section between ac because you are searching for maximum bending moment between ac okay so write uh, mx here so it is at a distance of x so 7.5 into x is positive and uh, 2 into x uh, into x by 2 that comes to x square and now 5 into distance is y this here it is y so 5 into y is uh, moment from h so y again you shall replace with this uh, 4hxl minus x by l square you should replace it and you do differentiation of this equation equated to zero 
you get x value that is what 2.5 meters means what middle of AC span so substitute x 2.5 in this equation you get maximum bending moment which is now sagging value sagging value okay the positive bending moment 3.125 same here take a section in the other half of the arch which is at a uh, at a distance of x from b okay now write mx what do you have here on a 2.5 and horizontal reaction 5 so 2.5 into x 5 into y again okay this is what is uh, y okay so you, you have taken a section there All right so 2.5x minus 5y that is minus h into y y again shall be replaced with 4hxl minus xyl square and differentiate this with respect to x equate it to 0 you get x value that is again coming to middle of bc span value is same but of opposite design so again so th this is some surprising results that you can easily remember okay so if you have uh, half of the arch loaded okay half of the arch loaded with udl so the portion where you have udl the middle of the arch middle of that half of the portion will have maximum positive bending moment the other half where no load is there uh, that will have maximum negative bending moment and the middle of it uh, is going to experience the maximum uh, hugging bending moment okay got it so this is how you need to uh, logically search and guess first and then search for uh, maximum bending moment values okay right thank you